Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back with kind of an interesting product and these are dissolvable food labels. You can supposedly write on them, put them on your containers, put them in the fridge and freezer and they wash right off with no sticky mess. But do they really work? Let's find out in today's video. All right, I unboxed this earlier and let's see how that went. All right, let's take a look at these dissolvable labels. I paid $13.99 for a 200 pack. Oh, upon first inspection, there's nothing really unusual looking about them. The claims are they say no more sticky residue. Labels wash away under any temperature water. Good for meal prep, home or work. Can be used on plastic, metal, glass or wood. People on Amazon who like them, most people seemed impressed that these actually do dissolve as claimed. Not a lot of cons. Some people said they weren't very big or there's not a lot of room to write. Not much to it. So uh, let's get started. All right. So there's not really a lot to this. Uh, really, all you're supposed to do is just label your food and when you're done, wash it off. So let's label a bunch of things, stick them in the fridge and freezer overnight and then try them tomorrow and see how it goes. I have a, a few different pens and pencils here. Let's uh, try writing some labels and put on some food items. Now, normally you're going to put it on something like this, like a container or a jar, and I'm certainly going to do that. But I'm also going to try a couple other services like a can or a Ziploc bag. You probably wouldn't normally rinse and reuse something like this. But how will it hold up in these kind of services in the fridge and the freezer overnight? We shall see. I'm also pulling out my rapid veggie steamer. I'm going to see how it holds up in the microwave. And I'm also going to see how it holds up in the microwave with something that generates a lot of moisture. Will that moisture affect the dissolvable feature? We shall see. Some cheese here that I just put in the fridge. Let's uh, label that. Try a ballpoint pen. Terrible handwriting. Used by, I don't know, 311. I'm guessing, I don't know. There we go. I think that's chicken. I'm going to put chicken. Another one down. Try another pen here. Meat. 211. I'm not even sure, but initial JW. All right. Next one. This next item, I got some more chicken in here. Let's see. Just going to stick it right there. See how well that sticks. Looking good. Next up, so I got some, uh, some chicken nuggets. I'm going to try one of my, my cheap so-called inkless pen here. Nuggets. Well, hey, it works on there. Not very well, but it does. All right, this one's going to go in the dishwasher and we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to put two labels on here. One on the lid and one on the jar itself. As much variety as we can get here. It doesn't really matter what I write, I guess. I'm going to fill this up with some water just so something's in there and put it in the fridge. Again, you're probably not going to rinse and reuse a can, but you never, you never know, I guess, right? And uh, we'll test this out in the fridge as well. See how it sticks and see how it rinses. All right, so we're going to make some peas in here and see if the steam affects us at all. The last one we're doing right now, but we're going to write on it anyways. Zip, Zippo, date 211. I'm just writing anything. 211. All right, this one we're taking in the sink right now. This one is going to go in the dishwasher, and I'll, uh, I'll put that in there right now, and we'll check it out later on. All right, so we got a few things to put in the fridge and freezer and wash these off and see how it goes. This one's going in the dishwasher. It says nothing. Hopefully, there's nothing left when it's done. Let's move over to the sink and try this one. The big test. And... Oh, wow. All right, well, it's, it's definitely dissolving. It is definitely dissolving. Oh yeah, it's gone. It is gone. I don't feel any sticky residue either. Wow. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little bit shocked about this. Let's see how the rest of them hold up overnight though. All right, day number two now. I've got everything out of the fridge and the freezer. Now, the, the point of this first part of this test is really just to see how they work as labels. Does it hold up in the fridge and the freezer and a variety of services? That's what this part of the test is about. And then we'll go to the sink and rinse them off. But let's see what we've got here. Right, here everything, everything so far is looking kind of good. Let's take a closer look at all these. All right, the ZOA label is intact. The jar, there's a little bit of condensation on here, but it seems like it's holding up okay. Same with the lid. I wasn't sure how it was gonna do on plastic, but it's actually holding up quite well. This container, not too bad. Now this chicken uh, label got a little bit smashed in the freezer actually, so. It stayed in place, but it got smashed. This one, there's also a little bit of moisture on the outside. 
but it seems like a hell of okay. And the nuggets in the fridge, not too bad. Now, before I rinse these off, I wanna do a microwave test with a couple of these containers. I'm gonna use my rapid veggie steamer to see how it handles a steamy environment. And I'm gonna also just put one in the, in the microwave that comes right out of the fridge. We'll see if that affects these labels at all too. Here we go, rapid steamer. Add in some peas. All right, I'm gonna microwave this, I'm gonna microwave this, and we'll see how they do. So when I looked over the instructions for the dispenser part one more time, I think I was, I might've been doing it wrong. You're supposed to put the vacuum through here, and when you pull it this way, it kind of starts the label and works as a dispenser that way. So I don't know if I was doing it right before, but I got it down now. All right, let's head over to the kitchen now. We'll see how the one did in the dishwasher, and we'll rinse off a few of these and then wrap this thing up. All right, let's see how this one did in the dishwasher. All right, we have no label left. It worked. All right, for frozen veggies, it takes four minutes. And we wait. Right out of the microwave with the steam, it doesn't seem very affected by it. Well, that's good, and it's hot. It's very hot. Let's see how these nuggets hold in the microwave. All right, after a few minutes in the microwave, not affected at all. This one's right out of the microwave, so let's do that one first. The chicken nuggets. help it along a little bit. I guess it doesn't really matter. It feels a little bit slick and then it's gone. Nothing. Very cool. I'm gonna try the uh, the side of the jar now, but I'm gonna do the lid a little bit later. I'm just using cold water, by the way. They say any temperature water works, so they say cold or warm. And there it goes. And that's it, all gone. Now my thing is I'm kind of wasting a lot of water for one single label. What if I fill the sink with some soapy water, throw a few of them in there, will they come off just soaking? Let's try that. I've got some warm soapy water in there. Let's throw a couple of these in there and just let them soak and see how it works. This one's actually still hot. Lid. And while I'm finished filling this up, I'm gonna rinse off this Zoa and see if you can do it off this can. And there it goes. It seemed almost faster on that can. Interesting. You feel kind of a slickness there and then it just disappears. All right, make sure these are all submerged. I'll come back in a few minutes and see how they do. All right, it's been about two minutes. Let's, let's check here. First lid, no, oh wow, nothing's there. Nothing is there, it's gone, just by soaking. Rapid steamer, nothing, gone. Where's that lid? Lid, that's gone too. All right, well, you can just soak it rather than waste water rinsing them off. So it's kind of a nice option. All right, well, I guess the dissolvable labels have passed every test I threw at it. They held up in the freezer, they held up in the fridge, they held up on a variety of surfaces, and they held up with pretty much every kind of writing utensil. They did dissolve in the water, so as far as I'm concerned, they work exactly as advertised. But if you've used a product like this, tell us what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.